Hi, this is Mari with Green Woman Ways, and I have another Partnering with Nature Nature Connection tip for you. This one is for everyone that lives in climates where it gets cold during certain times of the year, and a lot of people are less inclined to get outside and connect with nature and move their bodies and do all the wonderful things that we tend to do a lot more of in the summer. Oh my gosh, there's a heron flying up the canyon right next to me. See? See the things that you get to see when, when you get outside, even when it's cold? Okay. Alright, that was just to prove my point. Thank you, heron! <laughs> Alright, so, let's see, where was I? Oh yeah, so, a lot of people are more inclined to stay inside a lot more during the um, autumn and winter and spring when it's colder and it's wetter. Um, Oh my god, there's another one. There's a second herring going up this... <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, um, let's see. Take three. Alright, so, yes, distracted by herons. That's awesome. Um, and I wanted to give some pointers uh, on how to make sure you're getting outside more often during those colder times of the year and some of why that's important and also... Um, how that helps in our well-being, and a few ways to make it even more fun during that season. So um, the first thing about getting out during the winter is just to make a decide, or during the, the autumn and winter and spring when it's colder and wetter or just really cold, is just to make the decision that you're going to do it. That is key. It's just knowing how much being outside benefits you, and then knowing that that benefit continues even when it's colder. The second is to make sure that you're comfortable. So, um, as you can see, it's pretty cold today. Um, we've had it dipping down under freezing lately, and uh, I think it's just in the 40s right now. Um, and I'm wearing a hat and a good heavy jacket, and I've got um, long, like, long underwear-type layers underneath and gloves. And um, it's really important to just make sure that you have what you need to get outside and stay warm. Dressing in layers is good depending on how active you're going to be. So um, having a puffy jacket to throw on over you if you sit still for a while outside, especially if you've been really active, you get uh, sweaty, and then if you hold still and it's, there's a little bit of wind, you can get cold really fast. So having something to throw on over the top if you're more active and then you want to just sort of sit and enjoy the view around you, sit in, oh, next to a canyon and watch herons fly by. So um, Another idea is just, you know, if it's wet where you are, don't let the wet stop you from getting outside. Just have a rain jacket. You know, you don't even have to spend that much to get a decent rain jacket, but depending on how much it rains where you're at, that's just an incredibly important piece to invest in. Do whatever you need to to be comfortable. So make sure you have the clothing that helps you be comfortable where you're at. Okay, so one of the reasons that I... I'm very adamant in sharing you getting out during the winter more and during this cold, the colder wet season is through my own experience I learned um, that it is incredibly healing and it is incredibly beneficial to my well-being and I'm a person who really does adore the summer. I love the summer. I feel um, all that sun and heat and warmth and I just bask in it. So. I had to learn how to love the colder seasons. Um, autumn at the beginning is really gorgeous and beautiful, but then eventually it, things just start to get a little bit um, not as bright and showy. And I've learned to discover the beauty of each season by getting out there and experiencing it every season and every day, actually. I started the practice when I was still living in Seattle which is famous for being an incredibly wet, dreary, wintry place. And um, I just wasn't doing well during the winters. I was getting to the point where I was dreading the winters, dreading them. And no, I wasn't suffering from vitamin D deficiency. I have this weird body that has like really high vitamin D and I don't even have to try. So um, I just decided that I knew I always was better when I was outside more. So I made that decision. I made the decision to get outside and <laughs> Uh, no matter what the weather, every single day during the daylight and have a walk. 
and it didn't have to be really long, but I needed to be out there every single day. And I was amazed. I found ways to look for the beauty, uh, and it was it was absolutely spectacular. I also discovered while well, because I would journal and I would keep track of what I saw on my walks, and I would even keep track of the weather. And this is a great idea if you like to journal, or if you like to. Uh, right, or even doing photography to take a snapshot each day of something beautiful or what it's like when you're going out. Um, I started to keep track, and when I looked back, I started to realize that it's actually not as rainy as one thinks it is. And you can really build that up in your mind, but if you get out there and you learn to look for the beauty, you suddenly realize, oh, it's really not as rainy as you think it is. And it's just something that we build up excuses for not getting out there. And then we feel even worse because we're stuck inside. So um, I started that practice, and I don't think, I think I've missed maybe one or two days in the last three years of being outside every single day in some capacity. So, um, you know, I would say that if you live someplace where it's really snowy and you have a severe blizzard and you can't see a foot in front of your face, then, you know, take that as a hot cocoa day and a good book and just stay put. But don't let... Um, the weather keep you inside. Don't let the weather keep you from getting outside and benefiting from connecting with nature. Uh, you won't find yourself alone out there, I guarantee it. Um, you'll probably find a few other intrepid souls that'll keep going all through the winter and, and uh, in all kinds of weather. Um, and that can actually be kind of entertaining too because I find that the people that come out in all kinds of weather can be really interesting. And uh, I know we had people that I see out cycling in snow in shorts and so it can be very fun people watching um, but another thing is is that you uh, will see so many birds you'll see so much wildlife and um, you can find lots of ways to engage with it to enjoy it all that much more so different ways to engage yourself and encourage yourself to get out there is to make it fun so let's see first thing is um, you know look for things in wild like look for wildlife look for things in nature and start you can start birding you can start a new hobby that you might have been not have been doing and in the winter is actually my favorite time to go birding and um, I find that you kind of they're your they're your crowd that's with you more often than not and they're incredible to get to know and uh, then another thing is you can learn to look for tracks. If you live someplace where it's snowy, pick up a, a local book, um, maybe in your library even, that talks about how to identify tracks and signs of wildlife in your area. And it is absolutely so much fun to come across something and recognize it and be able to say, oh, look, this was this kind of bird landed here. And you can see the feathers. And oh, you can see that it went after it was a hawk. And it was obviously because there's little mice feet tracks that are going there and, and it's just so much fun so there is so much to discover there's so many reasons to get out there and um, in fact you can do one of the things like we did today to come to this place that we're in right now is I just picked up the map book opened it up and was looking for some place pretty close to home within like 10 15 miles of home and um, I just I saw some place on the map along the river that was named uh, that I hadn't noticed before, and I could tell that it was um, BLM land, so it was it was public land. So we just decided, okay, we're gonna go out and do our errands. We'll just go check that out, and we have had so much fun already. We've had um, a whole covey of quail went in front of us, and uh, we've discovered just all so many beautiful things. So just making it fun, exploring new places, uh, learning new things about the environment around you, but most importantly, just making sure that you. Uh, do what you need to keep getting out there during the darker, colder, sometimes wetter season. Um, and I, I guarantee you won't regret it if you stick to it and you make it a practice. Um, and look for the beauty, like make it a positive practice, looking for the beauty and looking for things that are new and exciting to you. Um, you'll come through this next season uh, really amazed at how different you feel than other seasons, especially if you're not a big winter person. Um, so that's my, my nature connection and partnering with nature tip for today. And uh, bundle up.
and uh, go see what nature has for you during the colder and wetter and darker seasons. Nature blessings.